Hello YouTube, it is That's So Brandon here with another YouTube video. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to add a link to a JPEG image in Photoshop. So essentially, if you wanted to create a web page just using photos and links, you could do so. So go ahead and open up Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6. I'm not using the CS6 CC. I don't agree with the whole Creative Cloud thing. Uh, and then we're going to go uh, to File, New, or Control N, or Command N on Mac. Go ahead. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to say Test. You don't even have to name that. I'm going to use 1280 by 720 pixels. I'm going to use resolution, about 500 pixels an inch. Color mode, RGB 8-bit. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now that I've clicked OK, it'll open up this file and we can go ahead and make a little image. So I will be right back after doing that. Alright, so after making a template, what I have here is a basic JPEG image that's going to act as a background as well as the HTML code of the website. So I have test web page. Uh, this can be any random text that you want to input onto the website. And I have a visit our website. So in this case, our website is going to be darktracemedia.com. I'm going to feature that. Um, so now you right click on your slice tool, uh, or on your crop tool, sorry. Go ahead, click slice. Go ahead and uh, just draw your selection. Just as simple as that. If you created what I did, which was a rounded rectangle, it'll automatically um, snap to that if you use snap. Uh, if you don't, then that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can name it. So I'm just going to name it Dark Trace Studios website. And I'm going to type in the URL, which is http colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot dark trace media dot com. And I'm going to hit OK. So now that that is linked, we are all set and ready to go. Just so you know that this web page, when you start adding slices and slicing certain things, it's going to render out into different images. But no worries, the HTML document will actually put it all together for you. So you go to File, Export, Save for Web is what you would want to click. Uh, I'm just going to be simple. I'm going to... Um, save this just as a JPEG image. Now you'll see all of your selections here. You can go through and manually select them and you can hold control or you could be pretty simple and just click uh, the toggle slices visibility. Go ahead and click that. It'll select everything for you. So with it like this, you'd have to select them individually with it unclicked like this. Uh, it'll render it all out. So you go ahead, you hit save. It'll pop this window up to save it. Um, now you can name it. I'm just going to name it test the website and uh, under format, you're going to want to click uh, HTML and images. Go ahead and save it. I'm just going to double check just to save it to my desktop so that it'll be easier to access for this tutorial. Now that it is saved, you can go ahead and minimize that. Double click on images. And uh, yeah, I don't see the HTML document anywhere. Give me one second. All right, so it looks like I just had to um, refresh my desktop for this to come up for some reason, but we're going to go ahead and double click on it and open it. Uh, if it doesn't open with the proper one that you would like, you can go ahead, right click, open with, and select whatever uh, internet browser uh, that you wish to open it with. So now what you see on the screen is exactly what we created over here in Photoshop. Looks identical. Uh, again, you can customize the canvas size and uh, again, resize everything just to do that. So test web page, 
this can be any random text that you want to input onto the website. Visit our website, go ahead and click it, and if it takes us to darktracemedia.com, which it looks like it's doing, we are good to go. So that, my friends, is how you add a HTML link to a PSD or .jpg file, uh, a Photoshop file, pretty much. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to help you. And remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.